Hey everyone, happy Saturday. So today I have a quick drugstore haul for you, but I just want to get started by saying a few things. So the Go Weekly video I made with that idea, those are still happening. It only has been delayed um, because I was in Colorado for a while helping out a friend, but I definitely am going to be still doing them because there are a lot of things that I don't get to say in these short little videos that I still want to say. Also, I did comment on all of the comments made on my last video and half of them didn't show up so I'm really sorry but I'm gonna get to commenting to everybody again so if you didn't get a comment you'll be getting one. So I was at CVS last night and so um, a lot of their makeup was 75% off. I wasn't going to get anything but then I sort of thought to myself what type of video maker am I if they have this amazing sale going on and I don't get anything because these are things that you guys probably would want to know about and actually I think they're all really great. Some of these weren't included in the sale but I'm going to talk about them anyway because it's kind of a collective haul thing. So the first thing, Extra Intense L'Oreal Paris Liquid Pencil Eyeliner and I got this because of somebody who commented on my makeup collection video about these eyeliners comparing them to 24-7. They even made this really funny comment saying that these make the 24-7 Urban Decay eyeliners look like a dupe. So I got it in brown and uh, they had slate gray, brown, and black. And of course I wanted black but I already have a lot of black eyeliners and I really wanted gray but I just bought a gray eyeliner so my next selection was brown and it's actually good that I got brown because the 24-7 eyeliner I have is in brown so when I do a comparison video it'll be a good you know way to show the differences anyway here's that swatch you can see how dark that is and just you can see up close it is just really really smooth but thank you for this recommendation I really do love this eyeliner I want it in the other colors and I'm wearing it today and this was um, not 75% off, but it was 50% off. So this was $5. Usually it's $10, which is really steep, I think, for a drugstore eyeliner. But at $5, this is a steal. At $10, it's still cheaper and probably worth your while. So The next thing I got is this Milani eyeshadow quad, and it is 75% off. So I have my receipt right here. Save five dollars and twenty-four cents. This cost me a dollar and seventy-five cents. In total, my savings, I saved thirty-two dollars and seventy cents. That's with this sale. <laughs> so yeah, I really loved this. This was a great neutral-looking um, quad, and you know, compared to the Maybelline quads, which are these which, I mean, I've had this for a while, but I really like the packaging of this Milani more. It's just, it's sturdier, it just feels nicer and just better quality. Um, I'm wearing this quad today in this eye look. And I really love these colors. I don't have a lot of colors like these, which is why I like them so much. Here are the swatches. So those are three, and then this is that um, beige one. So yeah, I really like these. So overall, I love this. I've already used it today. I love the look that I got from it, and I love it, and it was not even $2. Next thing I picked up from the sale is this Rimmel You Rock Cream Eyeshadow in Pavement. And I got this basically just for the white color because I thought that it would be a really, you know, great dupe for Max um, cream shadow cream color bases in pearl the only thing about this is it's so hard to get open but here it is um, here's that white part that I wanted for like a highlighter here's the purple part here's the gray part so that was fun. I mean, again, this was under $2, so how could I not? 
Then I came across these hip HIP paints, which were 75% off. And originally they were um, $9, but I saved, hmm, no. Originally these were $12, I think, but I got them for $3, which is amazing. So I got 813 Witty and 909 Steely, and they come in like this. And I actually have used the brushes. I think they're good brushes. And in a paint. I don't have any MAC paints, but I've always wanted them. So I think I might pick one up and do a comparison review on them. My hauls always tend to turn into full-blown reviews. So I need to stop that. So if you want a review on the Milani shadows too, let me know. So yeah. Witty and steely. That's about it that I got at the sale. I mean, I saved so much money. The most expensive thing I bought was $5, so that was a really great steal. And then also, recently I got from Target this OPI nail polish in Samoan sand, and I just got this to wear to work because it's just this really pretty beigey pink sandy color and I've always liked it. I always get it when I get my nails done. So, And I also got this Definaline Maybelline eyeliner which I've been loving. I love gray eyeliner for work because it's really easy to smudge and you know it doesn't look as harsh as black and I really love the way these apply. Really smooth. It's this top one and they come with the smudger on the end. It's retractable so I've been loving this and I totally recommend it. And it really makes me want to try the Define a Brow, I think it's called. So, yeah. The new Lash Stiletto Voluptuous. And I'm wearing it today. It, the brush is funny. I mean, maybe I'll do a review on this as well. But I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. So, I'll probably do a review talk. Just a couple more things. I got this Olay Total Effects Eye Transforming Cream. I've used a bunch of it and I don't really like it, so I'll probably do a review on it. Um, yeah. And also, my scalp has been so dry lately and like itching and hurting because of the cold. So I got this Kerastase Resistance Bane Age Recharge, and this actually has helped me so much. Really for somebody a little bit older, but <laughs> I don't care. I really like it. Um, it's definitely very moisturizing and not too harsh, and it smells really good. It smells like just really fresh. A big thing is that you can get Kerastase at the drugstore now. Some of you may be like, duh, but this is a brand new thing. You could not find these brands in drugstores a year or two years ago, but now you can, and that's like a big deal. Especially Target, you can get the Fakai and the Bumble and Bumble. I've only seen Kerastase and CVS, but Kerastase is definitely the last one of the brands to finally appear in these drugstores. But I mean, it's really great because otherwise they're kind of hard to find. Anyway, last but not least, I got this Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioner. And I was looking actually for something to curl my hair with because I want to wear it curly more often because I don't want to damage it too much. So, I actually didn't find a curling product, but I found this, and I've been looking for a deep conditioner. This was only $3, not on sale, just normal price. And honestly, I don't really use drugstore hair products. I just don't. I've tried, I've used tons of different drugstore shampoos in the past, and nothing can compare to when I use the nicer salon brands, so that sort of just where I spend my money because um, that's like really important to me but I love this I really do it's, it smells like amazing coconut and I don't know my hair was just really soft all week and it smelled really good when it was dry and I really really like this so I definitely recommend it so that wraps up my drugstore haul 
stay tuned for more videos hopefully thanks for watching and please rate comment and definitely subscribe